U.S. Republican senators have proposed legislation to stop the release and transfer of prisoners held at Guantanamo Bay Prison. The bill would put a two-year moratorium on transferring to the U.S. mainland detainees categorized as medium and high risk. It would also ban prisoner transfers to Yemen for two years. More than half the prisoners at Gitmo are Yemeni nationals. Guantanamo Prison was opened at the U.S. naval base in Cuba in 2002. It currently holds 127 inmates, many of them held without charge or trial. President Barack Obama had promised to close the notorious prison before his election in 2008, but has failed to do so. Okay, we're going to go on to uh, our next uh, uh, contact here, which is with Stephen Lenman. He's an author and radio host who joins us from Chicago. This would be on the story about how Republicans have been successful, at least for now, trying to stop this uh, uh, closure of uh, Guantanamo. So uh, Republicans are pretty happy, Stephen Lenman, aren't they? Hi, Kyber. Good to be on with you. Well, I would say Democrats, as, w as well as Republicans, uh, uh, press TV viewers might be reminded that virtually straight away in office in January 2009, Obama promised to close Guantanamo within his first year in office, 2009. Now we're in 2015. Six years later, Guantanamo remains open. I think the conclusion is very clear, Kyber. Uh, Obama wants to keep Guantanamo open. To blame it on Congress for Guantanamo staying open is an absolute ruse. It's a lie because Obama on his own authority can close Guantanamo today. He could have closed it six years ago. He's never done it. And to say that the Charlie Hebdo killers the people who did the killing in Paris were trained in Yemen, and that's Republicans or Democrats or whoever, and that's a good reason to keep Guantanamo open, is another red herring, a red herring. If people did absolutely nothing, if they're charged with nothing, if they're absolutely innocent, the real question is, why should they have been in Guantanamo in the first place? And they should be released straight away. Why is it that there's 150 of them who are said to be innocent still there? I mean, uh, is there no representation? We know there isn't uh, legal representation to have them released, but it is stated they're innocent, but they're still inside that prison. It's a pretty disgusting situation, Kyle. It's part of the, it's part of the longstanding fear-mongering campaign conducted by Democrats as well as Republicans, Obama and Joe Biden and the rest of them. The idea that there are bad guys running around the world, and of course they're all radicalized Islamists. Now you know, no, no bad Jews, no bad Christians, no bad Buddhists, just bad Muslims. We get this stuff fed to us ad nauseum, and so we need Guantanamo. We we need these other pris prisons. We need to keep these people from, from landing on America's shores. We, we charge innocent people with things they never did. And since 9-11, Muslims have always been demonized in America. But since 9-11, they've been the real target of choice, persecuted really above and beyond what's happened before. And there's no sign that any of this will abate. And again, using the Paris incidents as an excuse not only to keep Guantanamo, innocent Guantanamo prisoners remaining in Guantanamo, but also for Obama and the Congress to act and act more repressive legislation, which is exactly what's coming. America is already a police state. It's going to be more than ever a police state as a result of what happened in Paris. Thank you very much. Stephen Lemon, author and radio host. It's good to talk to you, talking to us there from Chicago.